So I think we're supposed to get a whole bunch of snow and I literally I couldn't be less prepared. So that's what we're gonna do today. Get our stuff in order. So if it snows a foot in the next 12, 15 hours, we can be ready to clean, clean up the mess. So come on, we gotta go over to the barn. We gotta find our, uh, get our four wheeler out, get our snow blower out, get all the stuff that we need out and make sure it starts, make sure it runs, make sure we got gas for it all. And uh, all, that, all that stuff. You guys know, this is all stuff that you guys should all be doing anyway. You ever have that time where you're like, I just have too much stuff. So first things first, that, that's what we gotta, that's, this is what we gotta get to the, to the house garage. I bought this John Deere, um, I bought this snowblower like a, maybe eight or nine years ago and I've never really used it. Uh, but I don't know why I don't sell it. And then there's our main uh, snow pushing machine. Um, hey, there's a four wheeler that we got the kids this summer. Uh, we gotta do a video on that yet. So first things first, we gotta get all this stuff out of the way. something so for the won't start I got no idea how to fix stuff does it mean dead battery maybe let's see I'm gonna show you what you guys tell me I'm guessing dead battery but literally I am NOT a mechanic I no don't know so thoughts seems reasonable right no big deal That's what it does. Let's hear it here again. My initial guess, I'm gonna guess dead battery. This is exactly why I need to be out here doing this today. Um, I didn't really give myself a lot of time. Snow is supposed to be here in about two hours. So, I, I guess I'll try to jump it. Yeah. Could be a huge waste of time. You know more than I do right now. As you sit there in your comfy chairs, am I making a mistake? Let a guy know. Truck started. Uh, needs to do frost before I can pull it in. Now we gotta start the tractor to get that out of the way, to let the truck in, to, I guess, hopefully try to jump that bad boy. Neutral. There we go. Come on, tractor. <laughs> uh, strike one. Strike one. Here we go. Strike two. 
Probably should be up here. Normally, I'd hop on that bad boy and fire her up and drive her the hell out of here. My brother watched the video a couple years ago and told me I was the biggest idiot ever because it's a diesel and I don't know what he said after that. Um, something, something, don't do that. So I'm not going to do that. So I guess we're going to let this thing just sit here for a while. Mrs. Woodward Acres, you should put your bibs on, it's cold outside. I won't need my bibs on, I'm not gonna be outside but two, three minutes. I'm just driving a four wheeler, 25 feet. How cold can I get? She was right, I was wrong. Let's get the truck moved in here. There's not a single jumper cable to be had in the back of this vehicle. How's that even possible? So obviously at some point, I got the jumper cables out. And then I said to myself, you should put these back right now before you forget it. And I said, no, I'm not like the other people. I'll always remember. So let's go to my wife's vehicle and see if, see if I uh, put a set in her, uh, vehicle. Found jumper cables in my wife's vehicle. It doesn't excuse me for not having any in mine. I feel like I need to take one more, one last look. Okay. They're not in there. Let's, uh, I don't even know if this is the problem. Let's, let's pray it is. What is up? I'll just throw these off to the sides. I'll come get, get them later. No, 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 no. This was supposed to be a two or three minute video and it's already uh, more work than I anticipated. You guys ever gotten into a project that was like, holy shit, that was, that went south fast. Comment down below, tell me about it. That way I'm not feeling so silly. That way I know I'm not the only one. Let's back this truck out of here and get things moved over there.
those of you following along at home, and you ask yourself the question, how much work does it take to move a snowblower and a four-wheeler from one building to the other? That's how much work it takes to move the snowblower and a four-wheeler from one barn to the other, one, house, one garage to the other. So I hope we don't get a single flake of snow tonight. That is my absolute dream. So anyway, let me know how much work do you have to do to prep and would have you been more responsible than me and gotten this done maybe you know when it was warmer out and it was time to do this activity so thanks for watching please hit subscribe my kids absolutely love the comments they watch the subscribe count literally more than they watch tv like every time what we get a new subscriber they do a dance and they celebrate so i appreciate um i appreciate you so hey i hope you had a nice holiday and i will talk to you next week look at this check this out it's hard to have nice things. He hit a tree. He hit a tree. Who hits the trees? Don't, for, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell notifications. Bye. Bye. Peace.